Hey everybody and welcome to another Brie Book Reviews video. In today's video I will be doing a book haul for you. Well it is actually a small book haul, mostly manga. It's like probably 2080. I've been on like a really big manga reading kick and also I wanted to let you guys know because I've been reading a lot of manga I'm actually doing two reading challenges other than the tome topples, which I told you guys about last week, I am also doing a manga reading challenge that was started by Apollo Gray. I will leave the link down below to the original video, but basically it is to dwindle down your TBR. You have to read two manga every single day. You can't skip a day and be like, I won't read any this day, but tomorrow I'll read four. You can't do that. And then also you can't read anything online. It has to be physical books on your shelves. And I think that's it for every day of April. I am recording this video, it is April 6th, so I have been doing really well so far. Just because I've been doing good so far does not mean that I will be reading two manga every single day. I have plans coming up, vacation time coming up, so I, I don't think I will, but it does still get me to want to read more and I have still been dwindling down the TBR. So regardless of whether I actually meet the challenge of reading two every day in April, I'm still happy with what I have been reading. So I'm gonna go over what I've been reading on a different day though, possibly the same time that I do like a start up um, tome topples reading challenge thing. I was thinking of going over like the first week of tome topples and also going over the first two weeks of the manga reading challenge all in one video. So that will be in a later video as far as what I've been reading. Um, but for now we will just go into the haul because I don't have much time to record and I just want to get it out to you guys. So since there are really only a few novels to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys those first and then we'll go into the manga. So you guys know I've been trying to find like more diverse reading material, things that I don't normally read a whole lot or really see a whole lot of, and this first one has been on booktube before and I the premise sounded really really awesome and I just needed to pick it up and that is Dreadnought book one Nemesis book one by April Daniels this is a superhero novel but not your typical superhero novel this is about a transgender named Danny who witnesses the death of a superhero named Dreadnought but before Dreadnought dies they transfer their powers to Danny and it transforms Danny's body into like the perfect woman body and Danny has to take on Dreadnought's powers and become a superhero herself. At the same time though, she's like got some things that she's dealing with. Her dad is obsessed with curing her girlyhood or girlness and her best friend like is kind of forcing her to become his girlfriend and she doesn't want to be his girlfriend and Obviously, there's also like big villain things she's dealing with as well. I just thought the premise sounded really awesome and I know I'm relating this to anime like way too quickly, but I love the idea of the superheroes passing on powers. It kind of reminds me of Boku no Academia and I love that anime and season two of that just started as well and I'm so excited to watch it. So um, I'm really excited to get to this story and it's very unique story plot is just something that I really want to get to reading very soon, possibly in April if I have time. The next two books are in the same series, I believe, or they're companion novels, something like that, and that is The Sorcerer of the Wild Deeps and A Taste of Honey, all by Kai Ashante Wilson. All I know is I believe both books have to do with a gay main character and it's fantasy and that's honestly all I know. I am sorry, I wish I could tell you more, but I was just honestly, I kind of want to go into it a little bit blind. I was just really drawn in by the covers. The covers are gorgeous. I especially love this one for some reason. I, I still love this cover, but for some reason I'm just like really drawn to this cover. So I'm excited to find out and not know anything about it and just jump right in. So those were all of the novels that I've gotten recently. So like I talked about in my currently reading, I am reading Limit by Keiko Suenobu. So I had to collect the rest of the series. I already owned one through three. And so I picked up volume four, volume 
five and volume six. Again, this is a story about a class that is coming, I wanna say they're coming back from a field trip or they're going on a field trip and their bus kind of crashes into the woods and they're lost and it's kind of their survival story, a little bit of um, Lord of the Flies type of thing and I'm excited to see how the story ends. I've also been trying to collect more of manga that I already own. So of course I spoke very highly of this in my last book haul and that is I picked up the last three volumes in A Silent Voice by Yoshitoki Oima. So we have volume five, volume six, which is like one of my favorites. And the last one, volume seven. If you want to learn more about this series, I will link my other book haul where I talk about it more in detail in that one. I am also now on volume seven of Berserk by Kentaro Miura. So I went ahead and picked up more volumes. I had up through 11, so I went ahead and purchased volumes 12, 13, 14, and 15. I am really enjoying this series so far. Would I call it my favorite? I don't know yet. Again though, I'm only in volume 7 so couldn't really say I have a solid opinion but I can tell you that I'm really really highly enjoying it and I cannot wait to continue reading this. In my last manga haul, I went ahead and collected the rest of Pluto by Naoki Urasawa. The next challenge I wanted to make for myself was to make sure that I collected the rest of Monster, which is also behind me. And so I did, and I got volumes 8 and volume 9, were the last two volumes that I was missing. Also, I have already read this. I read this the majority of the beginning of this month, and it was a fantastic, fantastic journey. And I will be doing a series discussion or first impressions. I honestly am trying to figure out the best way to do manga reviews because I don't really want to do anything spoilery. I do want to do a video about this and also Pluto because I highly enjoyed both of those series. Speaking of collecting more volumes that I was missing, I went ahead and purchased volume four of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure of the second arc, Battle Tendency by Hirohiko Araki, so I now have the full Battle Tendency arc. And then I also picked up volume one of the Stardust Crusaders, which is my favorite arc, so I love it. Second one is out, and I wanna say the third volume is very close to being out. I don't know, I honestly haven't looked at it recently, but I'm so excited. And then as I told you in my currently reading, I am reading Vinland Saga because I went ahead and picked up more volumes of it. So I have volume four, volume five, and volume six. So I only need two more volumes to be current. I think there's only eight volumes out, which I will be collecting these pretty soon. And then the final ten volumes I have here are all from the same series, and it is a new series on my shelf, and I have already watched the entire anime series for this and loved it. And I had a couple of you comment about my dislike of uh, Shokugeki no Soma or Food Wars. It made me think about some of my other food manga loves and joys and I just wondered why I didn't have this series on my shelf yet because I loved this series so much and so I was like, you know what, I need to own this series. So I went ahead and picked up volumes 1 through 10 of Yakitate Japan. I do have volume 9 missing currently, but that is because Amazon was really slow at sending it to me and it's actually supposed to be in the mail today, it just hasn't come yet. So instead of waiting for it, I'll just do the haul and I'll put it on my shelf later. So starting from the beginning, we have volume 1, volume 2, volume 3, volume 4, volume 5, Volume 6, Volume 7, Volume 8, Volume 9 is not here, and then Volume 10. So this is also a food manga, but this specifically is about baking, and it is about this character right here. His name is Azuma Kazuma. I love it. He has been blessed with what is called the God Hands. This is a stretch, okay? but it's manga, and what in manga isn't a stretch, but something with his hands makes it so he has like otherworldly baking powers with like the kneading of the bread with his hands. Anyways, 
that's besides the point. He loves to bake and he takes it upon himself to create the number one best bread out there and he calls it Japan, which is a pun in itself because it is the word Japan and then the word for bread in Japanese is pun. So a cute little play on words there. So Asma starts going to this famous baking school and he meets a lot of people and they have baking wars just like food wars except that when people eat the bread they have reactions just like they do in food wars except it's not like they're orgasming they like have visions of things in their head let me find an example okay so this character eats this like mountain shaped bread and then he starts seeing like I guess it's supposed to be curry flavored so he starts seeing this Indian guy baking curry like and other stuff like that but another cool thing is it goes, it also goes into like methods of how they made the bread so you can actually try to bake the bread yourself. So that's another thing that I really, really enjoyed about this anime. I have yet to actually read the manga so I'm excited to go into the manga because I'm pretty sure that the manga goes further than where the anime stopped. And I want to know what happens at the end because it's been so incredibly long since I last watched this that I don't even remember what happens at the end of this series but you can also watch Yakitate Japan on Crunchyroll I believe they added it um, a few months back like four or five months back I was just randomly browsing on Crunchyroll and saw it on there I have yet to watch any of it because I would really just really really like to read it so now I have the first 10 volumes. I want to say there's 20 something in total, so I'm almost halfway there, and I have 11 and 12 in my Amazon cart right now. I'm just waiting. I definitely want to start reading this this month. So that is all for this haul. If you guys have read any of these or are interested in reading any of these, let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!